and I did not rub my brain. Position Hi, I'm brake Lisa. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to adjust the brake angle. training class, I know that I rode with my foot on the brake because I was so anxious and nervous. But the instructor explained why you should not do that. So I knew once I got this rider that I am not riding my brake. I knew that and I did not ride my brake. Okay. Um, but my hubby told me that my braking lights were on. At that time, I was riding with my foot over the brake. I wasn't pressing on it, but my foot probably was touching the brake. And at that time, I was also wearing a different pair of boots. It may be that as I went over roads, my foot may have inadvertently kind of touched or pressed down on the brake. And so my riker think that I was riding the brake when I did not intend to. So we fixed that by adjusting this brake angle. Let me show you how that works. There are five positions that your pack can be in. So here's five, four, three, two, one. Right now, my pack is in the one position, which is closest to the rider. I didn't start out riding this way. I started out a little bit more forward like this. So how you, how you adjust this is you, you push up the pack and then you're able to move it to any of these positions. And then you can push it down to set the pack. Now, the thing is your Brake angle should be different depending on where your peg position is. So let me show you. This position was good in my preferred position, but now if I get back on here, you have to have it right in here. If I don't adjust this brake angle, it's now not ideal because even though I can come back really easily to step on it, in order to, for me to press it to the end, I kind of have to hyper extend my angle, which, you know, in the emergency situation, I don't think I want to do that. So if my pack were here, then I would want to adjust this brake angle to be slightly higher so that I don't have to hyper extend my angle in order to press the brake all the way. So how do you do that? Let me show you. You can adjust this brake angle, but you have to first lift up the peg. Once this peg position is up, you can pull this out a little bit. And then once it's out, you can position the brake to any angle that you want. So for me in this position, I will want the peg, I will want the brake a little bit higher. So you adjust it, you get back on your, on your bike and you see if that's a better angle for you. So you really want to adjust that brake angle depending on where you're at, okay? Because if your, head, your foot is a little bit more forward or a little bit more back, that angle needs to be different in order for you to come back to it without being obstructed by it. But still, when you press on it, you don't have to be hyper extending your angle. So this white strip, I put that here so that I know where my um, brake angle needs to be. I prefer to write in the one position. Um, and so I put this here so that I know that, okay, this is kind of where I want my angle, my brake angle to be. So that way, if you have multiple riders, it's just convenient to put a little mark of what is your preferred position. So I ended up in this most backward pack position. Um, I started out back in the front, uh, which seems a little bit more relaxed, but I ended up like this for a couple of reasons. <laughs> One, I have a lot of friends who have back problems and I like to avoid lower back problems. And I'm told by some PT friends that the best postural position is to sit so that if you imagine the tail coming out of your spine, you can wag your tail like a dog. 
So this position allows me to sit with a better posture when I remember. And also, this position, if I come across bumps in the road, it's very easy for me to stand up so that the bump doesn't get absorbed by my spine. So this is where I ended up. But, you know, everybody's different. Play around with different positions to see what's comfortable for you. Just remember when you do that to check out your brake pad angle and adjust it so that it's comfortable for you, that you can kind of come back to it without hitting it like this, and that when you step on it, you don't have to hyper extend your foot or your ankle in order to hit the bottom. So to recap, if you think you might be riding your brakes, fix it by don't hover over your brakes, clear your foot out a little bit, and adjust your brake pad angle. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because that helps me a lot. Thanks so much and ride safe!